dark energy is some mysterious stuff that accelerates the expansion of the universe. At least that's the usual story. For a couple of years now, a group of physicists has claimed that dark energy is really caused by black holes. This story turned out to be more interesting than anticipated, and a new data analysis just supports it, kind of. I have a brief summary. How can black holes be related to dark energy? Dark energy is the name physicists have given to whatever it is that speeds up the expansion of the universe. It has the odd property that it doesn't dilute as space expands. This is unlike any other type of energy that we know of, which is why dark energy is so hard to explain. It was difficult to swallow this already when we thought this stuff is just constant in time, but in what's currently the most interesting development in the foundations of physics, it seems that dark energy is actually getting weaker. Black holes at first sight seem to be an unrelated phenomenon. Most of them are created by stellar collapse when matter gets crushed by its own gravity. The new idea now is called cosmologically coupled black holes and has it that we've totally misunderstood what black holes do. It says that black holes feel the expansion of the universe. They expand with it. And if black holes expand, their mass grows. So the mass inside the universe grows. It doesn't dilute. This is why black holes can mimic dark energy. However, the number of black holes depends on how many stars collapse. It's not a steady rate. In the early universe, a lot of stars form rather suddenly once conditions allow it. Some of them later go on to form black holes. For some while then, there's a lot of black hole formation which later slows down. This means if black holes cause dark energy, then you expect dark energy to become weaker over time, which is indeed what the observation suggest. But this is a rather vague expectation and the reason why the new data analysis from DESI is so interesting. The DESI experiment is a telescope which does a sky survey atop Kitt Peak in Arizona. It looks for baryon acoustic oscillations, that are patterns in galaxies that are left over from sound waves in the plasma in the early universe. Dark energy affects how those patterns change with time. So by measuring the patterns for galaxies at different ages, they can find out how dark energy changed. DESI is one of the experiments that found evidence that dark energy is weakening, and they've now checked how well the cosmologically coupled black holes fit to their data. In this figure, these two data points are the ones that indicate dark energy is weakening. You can see that they fit badly to the standard cosmological model, which is called lambda CDM. You can also see in this figure that the model with cosmologically coupled black holes seems to fit a little bit better. However, if you crunch the numbers, the slightly better fit over here means a slightly worse fit over there, and in the end they're both equally good or bad. But they also find that the cosmologically coupled black holes help with a different problem, that is the tension in the Hubble rate. Overall, the black hole model which they use has the same number of parameters as the standard model lambda CDM, and they say that it fits the data as well or slightly better than the standard cosmological model. Sounds lame, but I find that a remarkable achievement. It's a real alternative and one that it actually explained dark energy. But on the theoretical side, the idea is highly problematic. This is because galaxies themselves are not coupled to the cosmological expansion. They don't expand. So why would black holes inside them be coupled? Also, two years ago, a group of astrophysicists showed that if the masses of black holes indeed grow, then that would much increase the black hole merger rate, and the expected rate is just incompatible with what we see in gravitational wave interferometers. That's physics speak for your theory just got 
not eaten by the data. This is why I give this an 8 out of 10 on the bullshit meter. This idea has big problems. I still think it's interesting though that it fits the data as well as it does. And maybe the problems turn out to go away if we understand the theory better. Or maybe the expansion of the universe is slowing because it's getting tired of our nonsense. Let me know what you think in the comments. Problems. I'm sure you have a few. But problem solving is a skill you can train, just like any other. I found that a simple and effective way to do this is with Brilliant. Brilliant offers courses on a large variety of topics in science, computer science and mathematics. All their courses have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. Whether you want to learn to think like an engineer, brush up your knowledge of algebra or want to learn coding in Python, Brilliant has you covered. It's an effective way to build up your knowledge and train your problem solving skills skills. And you can do it whenever and wherever you have the time. And of course I have a special offer for viewers of this channel. If you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabine or scan the QR code, you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.